the occasion? The unveiling of some horrible tasting liquor. The star attraction? DJ Samantha Ronson. That's right, Lindsay Lohan's gal pal. Long before she and Lindsay became best buds, Sam was an in-demand club DJ getting paid a lot of money to jet set around the country for guest appearances. Of course, I wasn't delusional about my invite. I knew I wasn't really going to party with Lohan and Ronson, but I did have access to the VIP room where they were, which was close enough for me. I sat briefly at Lindsay's table in the VIP room before getting kicked out to make room for the star, but she opted for a different table so she could keep her back to the crowd. I managed to get a couple of shots of Samantha hard at work spinning, but Lindsay threw a hissy fit and reneged on a promise to pose for a photo. I did get a shot of her on her way to the restroom, the only time she got up all night. She didn't even dance on a table. In addition to Boy Meets World star Ben Savage, there were plenty of Samantha Ronson fans on hand, some sporting the signature fashion hat, and some fans drove up from Orange County just to see her spin, including your Belinda resident, Courtney Najibli. Samantha recently guest DJed at Costa Mesa Suture Lounge, and when I asked her about her OC experience, she told me she goes into New York and Vegas clubs with a lot of publicity, and everybody's aware of who she is. But when she's in Orange County, nobody cares who she is. She could be wearing a mask for all they care. They only care about the music. The rumor mills have been working overtime these past few months with speculation on these two women. And for those of you who are curious as to whether there was even a hint of romance that night, I sure didn't see any. And I was watching them like a hawk. In Los Angeles, I'm Barry Colt now, Daybreak OC.